Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm Brother Barnabas, and we're doing a Devo today from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, uh, verse 35. I hope it's a blessing to you. If it is, then like it or share it uh, so others can be blessed. And today, um, I'm just going to start reading. Um, we're picking up with John the Baptist um, and his ministry. In the last couple of Devos, we saw how um, John the Baptist uh, had to decrease while Jesus uh, would increase because John the Baptist was preparing the way, making straight the way for the Lord, for Jesus. And um, and then last time we saw that uh, the Holy Spirit came and remained upon Jesus. And, um, and John baptized with water, but Jesus baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And now we uh, continue on the narrative, um, verse 35, and uh, it goes like this. Uh, the next day, John the Baptist was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, Jesus replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him, and he said, you are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which, when translated, is Peter, which means rock. My little addition there. And um, going back then to um, kind of summarize and to look at the the, the passage um, as a whole, and we, we see that the Apostle John, as he writes here, as he's um, beginning, he's describing the, the ministry of Jesus in the beginning days. Um, how from in, from the first of the chapter where he was, um, the word was with God and was God and all things were created through him and in him was life and in him was light. And, um, and then he gets a little bit more specific with, um, with Jesus and uh, his baptism. And uh, now he's um, describing how, how uh, Jesus called the first disciples uh, to come and, and follow him. And the thing that really struck me as I read it today, I mean, there's a lot of things that we could talk about here, but it just kind of jumped out at me as, as I read it. And I wasn't planning on talking about this so much, um, but it just struck me that they, they asked about Jesus, you know, um, so often when we think of the uh, calling of the disciples, at least I think of um, Jesus when he uh, found Philip and he says, follow me, you know, it just seems like such a short command, like, like Jesus went and sought Philip out and found him and just told him, follow me, you know, and Philip uh, followed. And that's in our Devo, um, uh, our next Devo tomorrow. And, um, you know, but in this one, it just struck me that, um, that the disciples um, were with John and heard him say, hey, that's the Lamb of God. And then they went inquiring about Jesus. And, um, and they asked, you know, where are you staying? You know, and he showed them and they stayed the day with them. You know, and obviously we have a very short encapsulated uh, uh, version of the whole conversation. Um, you know, they must have gotten to know each other a little bit. And then Jesus invited them to, to come with him to the place he was staying. And, and then they spent the day with them. And, um, and I was just thought, you know, this really is more of the way that I came to Jesus. You know, I inquired about him. I I was wondering, you know, what the meaning of, of life is, you know, uh, what's the origins of the world, you know, How, why are we here? You know, what what is life all about? What's this world about? Uh, what happens in the afterlife? Uh, you know, as, as a young person, I had a lot of questions. I think most of us do. And um, and I began to inquire about Jesus, you know, to ask about him and um, and open up the scriptures. And, you know, I was raised in a in a Christian household, so um, in a church, you know, so it was a natural thing for me to 
to read the New Testament and to um, and, and like I had answers that I had received uh, as a child and even as a as a younger man. But then I went through a time of um, straying away from the Lord and I began asking those questions all over again. Um, but anyway, I inquired. You know, I sought answers and I sought Jesus, you know, and he says he who, who seeks finds and the one who knocks, the door will be open. And that's how it was for me. And that's how it is for, uh, uh, for, for Andrew and, and Simon and, um, you know, and, and they found Jesus. And then the thing that really struck me is that they spent the day with him. And I am blessed right now, uh, because I have a, a life where, um, I can just spend the day with Jesus, you know, if I'm, if I'm feeling led um, not to do too much, not to spend a lot of time on, on ministry or the things of the world, you know, or household stuff, um, I can just spend time with God. And sometimes I can just spend the day with them, you know, uh, praying, maybe go for a walk in nature or go uh, just spend time in praise and worship or listening to some messages online or uh, reading the word or just putting the word on audio Bible and listening to it, you know, there's a lot of ways to spend time with Jesus. And um, I wish I could have been there, a, a fly on the wall, and just see what it was like for Andrew and, and Simon Peter to spend time with Jesus that first day. The questions they must have had, the um, the wonderings, you know, could this be the Messiah? Could this be the one? Could this be the King of Israel that's going to restore the kingdom? And, um, and their understanding, and I would have loved to just to be there and spend the day with Jesus with them. Um, but, but I'm just so, I'm, I'm excited. I can spend the time with Jesus anytime I want. So I want to encourage you, my friends, uh, whenever you can spend time with Jesus, spend the day with him if you can, you know, or at least spend an hour or two, set aside some time, an hour or two here and there, a day here or there, you know, one day a week is uh, biblical, you know, the Sabbath day, set aside that one day a week, uh, to be with Jesus. And, um, so, so picking it up in our, in our uh, little section here that we're studying. Uh, so they went and they saw him where he was staying and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. And then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, uh, was one of the two that heard what John the Baptist had said and who had followed Jesus. And the first thing Andrew did was to find his brother and Simon and tell him, we have found the Messiah. You know, so Andrew, um, Andrew right off thought, you know, I got to tell my brother about this. And for us today, there's a, a great example here. And probably many of you have heard it preached as I have, you know. Uh, first thing we need to do is go and tell our brothers and sisters, our earthly brothers and sisters, or uh, our friends, you know, family members, but friends, co-workers, go and um, tell them about Jesus too. And, um, and I just wanted to say, you know, it really is that easy. And, um, and sometimes our family members don't receive it. You know, I'm really glad that when Andrew went and told Peter, Peter uh, was glad and he went with Andrew and they both found Jesus and became followers of Jesus. We know all the things that that, that God did through Peter and the rock, you know, called him the rock. And, um, and on this rock, I will build my church, that rock probably meaning um, uh, faith in Jesus, but it's a word play on his name. And, um, you know, Peter just uh, became the, you know, the rock of the church and, and, a, and a leader uh, in the New Testament church. So I'm glad for uh, Peter's positive response. But sometimes when we go to our loved ones or friends and uh, we tell them, hey, could Jesus be the Messiah? Could Jesus be the one? Or we tell them maybe more assertively, Jesus is the one. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And no one comes to God except through him. And, um, and But yet it falls on deaf ears or we're rejected. You know, we have to believe that the word of God um, uh, does not come back void, but that the seeds were planted. And um, the those people that we've shared Jesus with, that even if it's just, you know, Jesus can help you with that, or I'm going to pray and, and Jesus can heal you, or Jesus can provide for you, or Jesus can help you out of this situation, or Jesus can um, answer your prayer. You know, um, just those simple things of telling people that Jesus is real, and that I'm going to ask him to help you, um, that can bring people to Jesus. So um, so let's follow the example of, um, 
let's follow the, the example of the disciples here. And let's go and tell our loved ones about Jesus. And when we can, when we have opportunity, let's spend the day with Jesus. Let's spend the day with them. Let's spend an hour or two with them and then go and tell others about him. Let's pray. Lord, and when we look at it this way, it just seems so simple. Um, help us, Lord. Help us along this path. First of all, Lord, help us to inquire of you. For those of us, Lord, who may not know you that well, Lord, or maybe we've never given our lives to you. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would meet us on this journey of inquiring, Lord. Help us to inquire of you, Lord. Help us to seek you out, Lord. Help us to look for you, Lord, in your revelation in the New Testament, Lord. Help us to look for you, Lord, in the teachings online or other places, Lord. Help us to look for you, Lord, through the teachings of a local church, Lord. Um, help us to look for you, Lord, in the lives of our brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, and loved ones and friends who know you, Lord. Let us seek after you, Lord. And Lord, I pray, Lord, for each and every one of us, Lord, that as we seek after you and inquire of you, um, Lord, that you would answer. Lord, you would reveal yourself to us and you would say, follow me. And you would challenge us to leave everything behind and follow you. For we do want to follow you, Lord. And Lord, I pray that we would take time out of our lives to spend time with you. Lord, just as um, uh, Philip, Lord, and, and, and Simon Peter, they... They spent the day, Lord. I pray, Lord, that um, we would be able to spend the day or at least spend an hour or two, Lord, with you. Lord, that we would uh, uh, we would turn off the TV or put down our, our cell phone or, um, you know, leave work a little early or sacrifice our lunch to spend time with you, Lord. Spend our lunch break with you or, or whatever, Lord. Just uh, help us, Lord, in the midst of our busy lives. Help us to spend time with you. Let us be ever aware, Lord, that you are with us and that um, and we can just call out on you to you and spend time with you a few minutes, a few hours, or even a day if, um, if we have that kind of time, Lord. Help us to spend the day with you, Lord. And then out of that, Lord, out of that inquiring, out of that spending the day with you, Lord, let us come to that realization that, uh, oh, I have to share Jesus with others and just bring the right, the right people along our path let us just tell others about the joy we have found in Christ Jesus. Uh, help us to be full of your spirit and of your faith, Lord, uh, full of faith in you. And help us just to tell others, hey, I found Jesus. He can help you too. And um, let us keep it that simple, Lord, and that much from the heart. And Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters right now that as, all we, as we all go to pray, prayer together, Lord, that you would hear our prayers, Lord, and you would bring people across our paths. You give us divine appointments, Lord, people that we can say, hey, Jesus helped me with this, and he can help you too. Friends, just begin to pray along those lines for people that Jesus might bring along your path, and um, let the Lord speak to you about what you can say and what you can do. Just continue praying and spending time with God. Spend the day with him if you can, my friend. You won't be sorry.